What's you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at anti-malware programs and we're going to be scanning the system for viruses and find out which one comes out on top. Now we've got Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, we've got Hitman Pro, Super Anti-Spyware and we've got Spybot Search and Destroy. We're going to do a test on these four and uh, see uh, what happens and see what gets detected on the system. So I'm going to sort of discard cookies really uh, because I know Super Anti Spyware sort of detects a lot of cookies and that bumps the numbers up. So we're just looking for real uh, processes running files and stuff like that that are installed on the system. Okay, okay, we've got pop-ups happening already and this is uh, pretty infested this system. Um, but let's have a look here at the processes. You can see a lot of processes running on the system. Um, there's loads here that I can see, loads of junk running. Um, so we're going to do a quick scan and find out what's what and what comes out on top. So what I'll do first is I'll run Malwarebytes and then I'll cancel that once it's given me the full results and then we'll go on to Hitman Pro and so on and so on. So let's get started. So I'm going to quickly run this. I'm going to be doing a, a default install here and a default scan straight off the bat, for quick scan. No extra settings, just as we install it. So I'm just going to do a quick update and a quick scan and we'll let this run and see what happens and see what it detects okay. Now I already know that Malwarebytes is very powerful and very good. I just wanted to have a little test with some of the other stuff. People keep asking me to make a video with anti-malware programs. I know there's loads of other anti-malware programs out there to add to the list but it's all about time. And that's the scan nearly finished as you can see. So we're going to do here is click OK and you can see 58 results. So I'm going to quickly jot that down. So we've got 58 there. Let's have a look at what the actual results are. And as you can see, these are all um, running on the system. We've got in system 32 here. There's also some other areas which are nasty as you can see um, on here. These are actual files and processes and memory key that are running on the system and these are in really um, nasty areas where you've got malware running on there. So let's come down. None of these are actually uh, in the downloads folder or anything like that or any loose files that I've used in zip files and stuff. These are actually all um, running on the system which is not good. So we'll take that number down and we'll run um, something else on the system and see what else finds what. So let's close this off. We're going to cancel this so we don't clean any of it off. And I'm going to run Hitman Pro. Hitman Pro don't want to run, so let me just download another version. In the meantime, I'll run Super Anti Spyware. Let's just fire this up. Now I want to make sure we've got all the latest updates, so I'm going to check for updates to make sure we've got all the latest definitions and then we'll run a scan with Super Anti Spyware. Okay, so that's all ready and done. So I'm going to close this off. And now what we're going to do is scan with a quick scan on the system and see what it finds. While that's doing that, I'll download another copy of Hitman Pro. It's got corrupted somehow. Okay, that's the actual scan now finished. And as you can see, it's found 97 uh, results. So I'm going to click uh, continue here. And uh, what we're going to do is have a look at the actual tracking cookies. As you can see, 90. Uh, items found. Now even though that these are good to find and clean it is um, contributing to a large number of infections on there and I know there's more infections that are more severe than what's here. So we only got seven here on a quick scan and you can see that these are registry keys and stuff like that and files that are in app data and roaming folder as you can see here registry keys so it hasn't found a lot so uh, we're going to put this down as seven because I'm going to discard all the actual tracking cookies here because I'm not really sort of classing them as 
actual files because you can see they're just cookies so that comes up with a 7 so I'm going to put 7 down for that so I'm going to cancel this and just close that off there and then what we're going to do here is uh, spybot search and destroy I'm going to give that a blast I can't run Hitman Pro for some reason the malware is stopping it so I may need to run this afterwards in safe mode because uh, it's not letting me run uh, Hitman Pro um, the malware is uh, stopping it running whatever's on there so let's uh, run Spybot search and destroy and I'm going to do a quick update on the system not used this program in a while so I'm going to check for updates okay it's saying it's all up to date so let's uh, close that off and run a system scan on the system now it says it will detect more infections if you get the virus, antivirus program installed but we're just going to run a standard scan here and let this run through okay now I've not used this for a long 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 time uh, but there's a couple of guys that have asked me to add it to the group so I thought I'd add it in just to see what happens so we'll come back and see what the end results are on this okay so that's the actual scan now finished for spybot search and destroy I thought I'd add PC tools uh, spyware doctor to the mix just in case uh, hitman pro doesn't work um, so what I'm going to do here now is have a look at the actual results here and see what we've found on the system it says 24 results has been found I'm going to put that down as 24 which isn't too bad so what I'm going to do here now is cancel out of this and I'm going to reboot into I'm getting pop-ups here reboot into uh, safe mode and try to run a scan with hitman pro from there let's quickly reboot the system it's really whining Okay, what we're going to do here is go down to safe mobile networking and hopefully we'll be able to get Hitman Pro running from here. And something's obviously blocking it. Okay, we're at safe mode here. So what I need to do here now is find our file that we're going to run. Go to desktop and it's there. Hopefully this will run now. It's not running. It doesn't like it. Something's stopping this uh, from actually running. Okay, so what we're going to do here is try PC Tools Spyware Doctor. And I've got a suspicion that it's not going to start. It's not started as you can see. Can't start the service. And the reason for that is it can't identify the digital signatures and that's the same thing that's happening to Hitman Pro so it's doing both of these actually it's doing Hitman Pro and this one here so it's not much good doing that without an update really so what I'll do here is um, I'll go to Hitman Pro site and download it from here and run it straight off the bat like this and see if we can get it to run and hopefully we should there we go so we can get that running like so and what I'll do here is I'll just quickly go through here and run this now I'm, there's gonna be probably a big list of services um, that are not working and that's because that malware is on the system now we're gonna discard any type of um, 
any type of uh, cookie or anything like that but as you can see it's finding loads of stuff already and you see this WRP services that's exactly what's going to happen it's going to give us loads of these and flag these as uh, viruses um, and that's common so this may be a bit of a, a fake result really for all these scans here because it'll start putting up um, some stuff here that is normal service that's running but this uh, PC tools it's saying that that's an infection and it's putting up loads of other stuff this is pretty common for this particular type of infection so what we'll do here is uh, just let this run and we'll see what the end result is but I mean it's going to start updating loads of stuff here as you can see once it gets down the bottom it'll start updating to, uh, uploading to their site I should say not updating and a lot of these will come back as infections like so as you can see WRP so we'll let that run anything down the bottom here so we don't need to worry about these ones adware because we know they're not infected these are just um, adware antivirus I can't get that running it's disabled that also don't need to worry about these ones because they're all proper programs there's nothing wrong with those that's probably like a lot of these results really it's going to come up with results that we don't need to uh, my mouse is going a bit weird okay don't need to worry about that or that one Google Updater it's going to do all those I think there's a ton of them that So all in all, I mean, I'll let this run through and let this go through its uh, infection list and find out what we've got here for the end results. But all in all, it's been a pretty good result really for this type of uh, um, scan, I thought. So Malwarebytes has done very well. I can even run Malwarebytes here as well. But I'll just quickly run Malwarebytes here as well and clean off the rest of this junk. But um, you can conclude what you like out of that. Um, the results, I think, uh, Malwarebytes done pretty well with 58. Um, Spybot Search and Destroy had 24. Super Anti Spyware 7, pretty low really, unless you count the 99 cookies. And uh, Spyware Doctor couldn't get running. Hitman Pro is also finding loads of stuff as well. So we've got Adware, I couldn't get running either. That, that, that was supposed to be in the video, but I couldn't get that running either, so it's got stopped. So we'll leave these uh, running here and uh, we'll come back and see the end results for these. This should be, this should be much different, maybe a little bit different with some uh, processes not running now. So it may be a little bit lower, but we'll see. Okay, so let's have a look here. This is still uploading loads of stuff. It keeps adding more stuff to it. So I'm probably not going to continue with this uh, scan. I'll finish it off. Okay, but I know some of these, which is this type of thing here, which sticks out. Okay, so what we'll do is I've just run another scan with uh, malware bytes here behind that, and it's finished. And you can see it's 52. And this was a little bit slightly different, 58 from the original, but there'll be some processes running which it's probably going to detect uh, once we boot back up into normal mode. Um, so what I'm going to do here is show the results, and as you can see, same thing really uh, in these areas so I'm going to remove all these and uh, clean this up and end the video I think that's been a conclusive result here we've got Hitman Pro and also Malwarebytes right up the top of the tree as you'd expect uh, very good uh, pieces of software to remove malware okay so I'm going to remove the rest of this and then and then uh, get on with this uh, ending of this video so I hope you enjoyed it so let me just quickly remove this and reboot the system back to the desktop Okay, so we're back at the desktop here. 
and this is still not working so there's some nasty infection still on here uh, but what we need to do is clean this up I'm not going to do that in this video but the end result was uh, all come up uh, with different uh, varying results I would say the top two are definitely Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro as you probably guessed um, Adaware wouldn't start and also PC tools wouldn't start Hitman Pro wouldn't start and we had to use a little trick to get that running but other than that it all come good in the end um, you can make out your own conclusions what you think is the best or what you want to use but I would suggest that you start using uh, Malwarebytes and Hitman Pro on a regular basis because uh, these detect a fair bit of uh, malware on the system so I think we're going to call this one done so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and also please rate my videos because it does help me out a lot and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so I hope you enjoyed it bye for now